All right. Uh, looks like we're alive. At least that's what the system says. Hey, Pat, how are you? Hey, Tegran, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, great. It's really great to be back, you know? I feel Absolutely. like you and I haven't done a live in almost a year, so. It's been too long. It's been too long, honestly. Uh, awesome. Well, for everyone watching, uh, what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at Code Signal interviews, specifically on how to use Code Signal interview for interviewing mobile engineers, uh, because we always hear that that's a big pain point, right? Most mobile engineers, you know, their craft is to build mobile applications, and unfortunately, what they end up getting interviewed on in many cases is just algorithms and data structures, which is important, but it's only a small piece of the puzzle. So, uh, very recently, we launched a feature that allows for. Uh, real mobile, a real simulation of mobile development environments. So excited to show everyone what it looks like with Pat. So ready to roll? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add the tab that we're on and we can start talking about what we're looking at here. Uh, well, I guess for those who don't know what Code Signal Interview is, maybe Pat, you can give a quick overview of what we're looking at. Of course, yeah. So Code Signal Interview is a state-of-the-art tool that's going to allow us to conduct any type of technical interview we might want to do. Uh, in particular, we're going to see today how good of a fit it is for uh, mobile developer interviews. So uh, just generally speaking, this is a collaborative tool that allows us to edit the code and run it together. Uh, we can see on the left side that we have a full file system tree that's editable, uh, just like it would be in Android Studio. So the tools are, are comfortable and familiar to any dev that's familiar with this type of workspace. Awesome. And the really cool part here is that we can actually code together, right? So like in a scenario where you're just sharing screen, it's always like, and what if you what what if you edit that like line seven like or something like that right it's kind of weird but here we can literally jump in and start writing code together uh, not an Android developer so all I know how to do here is like write write a comment and it seems like I don't even know how to do that there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that works what's up Pat how are you. Uh, and I can hover over your cursor to see what you're doing. And both of us are kind of visible here. I'm CS, which is short for code signal. Uh, now, the really cool part here is that th because this is an Android app, you know, there is a simulation of a mobile device. And it's not just a wrapper of a, I don't know, some random browser or something. It's actually a, a mobile phone. Like you can go browsing the internet here, right? Like you can literally go to Chrome and like check email, stuff like that. So it's like a real phone, but uh, in this interview environment. And as you make changes to the app, you can actually run and see all the updates show up. So let's try to change that header color. Uh, you knew what, what was it? Zero, 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 FF? Uh, four zeros. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Uh, now, if we run this, now it's going to rebuild the app. It says it's going to take a while, but it's just scaring you. It actually doesn't take that much time. Uh, there you go. The build is already done. Tell us fast. Second, exactly. And then tap play, and it's launching the app, and boom, all of a sudden our header is blue now. And you can start interacting with the app too. Uh, I can say, I ask can choose when this is due, as if I don't have enough tasks that are due. <laughs> awesome task. Uh, save it. Boom, I have a task. You can even have like interactions like swiping. So see, I'm like swiping this uh, to edit or delete. And all of that is available, right? So like you can actually have uh, use real Android APIs to conduct these kinds of interviews where, uh, you know, it's importing like list view, text view, the swipe layout. So it's uh, just like in Android Studio, really. Yeah. So, I mean, this is basically running an actual Android app just as it would appear on an actual Android phone, right? Exactly. Yep. 
Uh, well, uh, to switch gears a little bit, right? Obviously, Android is only one part of it. Uh, I want to take a quick look at React Native as well, because React Native obviously works both for Android as well as iOS. So to open it up, now it's going to drop us into a React Native environment in which, again, We've got a file system with multiple files and folders. And this time it's all JavaScript, obviously React Native code, uh, where we can, again, start editing the app. I think it's the same app or it's, it's, it's something similar, but it's not exactly the same. So, yeah, this is the playlist app, I think. Yep, yep, yep. So let's see, what, what, what can we change here? You could uh, change the text if you want. Okay, sure. Go for it. Uh, and I can see that change being made here. And there we go. Really updated. Oh, there we yeah. Go. Yeah. Updated, updated in real time. I <laughs> love it. Yeah. So for this one, you don't even actually need to click run. It will automatically reload for you. And this again is an Android device, but you can have the same thing running in iOS. And we're bringing native iOS very, very soon in a very similar environment. So you can already do iOS apps, but in React Native. And uh, obviously, simulating Xcode is a whole other challenge in the browser, but uh, we'll get there too. I'm sure we're up for the challenge. Yep, exactly. Uh, what else are we missing? Anything else interesting that you think we should point out before we hop off the stream, Pat? That's such a great question. I mean, we've already seen so many interesting things over here. Uh, I guess you're sort of showing on the left side there that we have the file system tree here again, and we can see that it's a little bit different. It's a little more what we would expect from a React Native environment. Uh, so just like any other task on Code Signal Interview, the candidate would be comfortable and in a familiar environment, basically from what they would expect with this type of task. Yeah. And you can obviously like create and edit anything on this side too, right? Like if I wanted to make a new file, I can say new awesome. For some reason, everything is awesome for me. So <laughs> new awesome <laughs> file.js and that will get made and you can start writing code there too. Right. And you can see that I'm in that file on the tab there. Yeah, exactly. Right. I guess that's one thing that we didn't mention is I can follow you as you go to different files, there you go, right? So right now you're on the music list. I'm gonna flip to like app.js so I can see you jump over. There, there we go. go. I guess one thing that we didn't mention yet is once you are done with the interview, once the interview is finished, you can literally play back every interaction we have together, right? Like you writing code, me writing code. And you know most interviewers are not very good at taking notes and having the ability to go back and play it back for yourself to see, you know, how did that interview go? Like, uh, just analyze it and when you're on your own. But more importantly, if somebody else, like in the interview committee, wants to understand how did that interview go, instead of just relying on your beautiful notes, they can actually go and see for themselves. Yeah, the first-hand account. And last but not least, let's say you're considering the candidate nine months later. Without that playback, again, all you have is the notes to go by, and that's not much, right? But having the ability to go nine months back and see, okay, we interviewed this candidate nine months ago. What was that interview like? What was their ability? And compare it to today is a huge, huge differentiator in terms of being able to hire better. Yeah, that's a great point. The replay doesn't lie. Yeah, the replay doesn't lie. <laughs> Love it. Well, that's a great note to end it on. Thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. And Pat, we should do this more often. I missed it. Sounds great. Awesome. Thank you, sir. See you too, Gun.